All fun things must come to an end. Look behind me, we got the Honda Civic back there. It's been hanging out for a couple years on the side yard, and I don't know what else to do with it except take everything out of it, make it into a normal car again, maybe with some coilovers, get the air cans out of it, make it drivable, and either get rid of it or look at it somewhere else. But right now, it's just rotting over there in the corner, and I can't be having that. So let's bring it out, let's open up the doors, and let's see about pulling everything out of it, all the amps, the wall, the subwoofers, everything, and starting fresh and making it just a normal car again. So it had a cover on it, but uh, the weather, rain, wind, sun rotted it off. So it's just kind of hanging there. I don't even know what my battery voltage is even gonna look like. It's probably gonna be like 0 0.0001. But let's pop the hood and see. If you're wondering why the hood is so raggedy and rusty looking, that's because after it got stolen years ago, they destroyed the hood, they destroyed the trunk, they destroyed a bunch of stuff. I bought the factory hood and the factory everything to replace it, but I never painted them. I never did anything to them, they were just black. So, of course, the elements have gotten to that too. It's not like it was blue before and it somehow rusted away. It's just that I never repaired it since then. So, that'll probably get taken care of finally this time around. Well, I remembered to unplug the battery before I parked it, so hopefully there might be some kind of juice in there. It's so dirty in here. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be though. This car has a long history with my YouTube channel and all kinds of crazy stuff. I tried to bring it back like six, seven, eight years ago and right in the middle of bringing it back, you probably all remember Moog 72. I started working on that and then everything I was doing with this, I put on the back burner. And ever since then, that's where it's been. I've never touched it ever since. Also, while I was back here in the yard, before I got all this barbed wire and before I closed it off, someone snuck back here and they stole the Alpine out of the dash. And they tried to get other stuff too, but I got cameras and I caught them in the act. But the shit was already long gone. Found me some jiggle keys in the ignition. I don't know where they were gonna take my go-kart to with the gate locked, but yeah, badass jiggle keys, look at this. Look at that shaved key. I didn't even know it was in there until everybody was long gone. And I think it was sitting right in, in here. And then the Honda. Motherfuckers got my Alpine. They didn't get nothing else though, just the Alpine. None of the other beat that's in this ride. And then the 98 Astro van. I started it up, it's running. Stereo still works, but they were all up in here trying to get this. It's all pulled apart again. Caught him just in time. I don't know what it is about these thieves. They always pull out. Every time they get in this van, they play with this Astro book. 98 Astro van. Well, there you have it. This thing, it's a relic. I hope it starts. I don't know if it's going in or not. First thing we need to do is check the battery. It's probably 0, 0.000 on the voltmeter, but we'll find out. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 
look at that. 12.25, this thing has been sitting here for at least two years, at least. So that may not be enough to start it. It might, might not. It's probably a week 12.25, but I'm gonna get a charger, put it on this thing, charge it up to the top again, and then we'll try to start this thing. I don't even know what the gas is gonna be like, but hopefully it'll still start. But I gotta give out a lot of props to excess power because this thing's been sitting so long, I can't believe it's still at 12 volts, even though it's been unhooked. We'll freshen that bad boy up here in just a matter of minutes. Right, so we'll leave this on here for a little bit until it's brand new. Won't take very long. 90 amp charger, only charging at five amps right now. So nice and steady. All right, let's see if it starts. It's not 100% full yet, but it's looking good. Negative, it won't start. thing is not starting it's turning really nice but it ain't starting well I guess I'm about to start pulling stuff apart and seeing what happens it's got gas and I just poured fresh gas in it so hopefully it's not even with bad gas it should still start maybe run like crap maybe smoke a little bit it should still start so I don't know what's going on just yet try it again well it won't start yet but let's see if it'll lift. Trying to fill these tanks up. <laughs> so after struggling for about a day and a half with this thing, trying to figure out why it wouldn't start, put some new plugs in it. The bro Casey came over here. We tried to diagnose it and see what was going on. Couldn't really figure out exactly what it was. After about a day and a half of struggling, we finally came up with the distributor cap. That's the problem. So the main culprit was those contact points. They were corroded. The ant dog came over here and sat them down. Started right up. So we'll put a new one on here. Hell yeah. Running good now. Fired right up. Back in business. All right, she's running. She's up in the air, got some air in the suspension. All that stuff still works. I'm pretty happy about that. I'll move it a little bit. All right, we got this thing purring like a kitten. Chilling. Now we're just gonna bring it into the shop, give her a bath, try to make her shiny, at least halfway decent before I decide what my next move is.
Yeah, she deserves it. It's all cleaned up in here. Of course, I got a hole in the dash where the Alpine used to be. Of course, behind this door, we got a big ass compressor. I used to have two of them, but the other one died, so it ain't there no more. On this side, we got a couple of amps, processing, LEDs, things like that. A little dusty but not too bad excess power down there they're dead but i might be able to revive them i don't know but i think i'm gonna take all this stuff out and start over with some new stuff <laughs> 